following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Kevin Inks, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials up 173. NASDAQ's up 52. S&Ps are up uh, 23. You get the gold contract up three bucks. We have uh, oil up 87 cents. Bonds, the 10-year note, is down 17 ticks. 30-year bond is off a full point and four ticks. Good old King Dollar is up 115 ticks at 96.99. And then when we talk about in, in educating investors, folks, each and every day, right here on TFNN, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do 10 hours of live programming. Tuesdays, Thursdays, we do 11 hours of live programming. I'm in, Mr. Kevin Hinks, TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, educates investors in an incredible way inside the option market, noon. Every day, no, no matter where you are right now listening in your car, remember that you can get it right on your cell phone. Just go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get the charts. You're going to get the audio. You're going to get the whole ball of wax. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Hey, Do we so, really have a three-day rally? When's the last time we said that? Uh, that there's, there's, there's no doubt about that, man. And, you know, the way that this market has been r running I know, you know, we're all going to be at beautiful uh, Times Square uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and I saw the workshop you're doing, and that, that's applicable, too, as to what's going on on this market, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to be hanging out with the O'Brien guys. That's a beautiful <laughs> thing. It's always a good thing. Hey, so are you making your way back from Phoenix? You're still in Phoenix? Where I'm are you? No, I'm, in, I'm back in Chicago. Came home last night, so... Getting doing doing the show for a couple of days, and then it's off to New York to hang out with you guys. That's too bad. Too bad you to stay in Phoenix for a few more days. <laughs> oh, Phoenix was very nice. We were up in Sedona. Very oh. nice up there. Oh, Sedona is unbelievable. That the Enchantment Resort, man. Forget it, right? I'm, I'm telling you, it's pre, it's a pretty place, Can't isn't it? it? Yeah. So you know, market. Well, hey, oh well, we got option expiration this Friday too, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And, and I, guess, I guess, you know, now every week we have option expiration, which is a little yeah, bit Yeah, but different. this is the big monthly. Right? Yeah. The third Friday is the monthly. Right. Historically, the, the, the bigger volume of all the expiration. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, Priceline, you know, it's interesting, man. Price, PCL, let me just see where this is. Uh, I was looking at this this morning. Priceline has taken over the travel world, man. It's pretty amazing. It PC really is. So exactly pri Priceline right. this morning, folks, okay? Uh, well, it's a... 11%, 127 bucks. And, you know, they basically, uh, they're, they're doing something right, you know? Uh, that, so, and you know what it is? They, they own a lot of different companies under that, you know, you, you don't even know when you're using them, really. Yes. You know? It's pretty amazing. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how the, what the option plays were on that, too, Kevin. That's a big, that's a big move, right? Right. Exactly. And, and, you know, I wasn't in the office yesterday, so I'm not sure what the market maker move was, but what's that? $127. That's a pretty substantial move. I'm not sure what the market maker move was. Yeah. But, yeah, that's yeah. Interesting. but you know, that's a way, really, if you think about it, with the price that Priceline trades at, yes. options are, the, are, are probably for the normal retail investor the only way you can play that. Sure. Right? Who can afford, you know, a price that, uh, uh, to buy 100 shares of something that big. Yeah. There, there, well, there's you can't afford to, pay, to buy options on it. There's no, it, you know, it's amazing. And, and there's no doubt it's for the retail investor. But that's also for the professional investor, right? I mean, right. you know, that eats up like $5 million in about a heartbeat, right? Right. <laughs> right. And, and, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, normal investors are looking for return on their money, not just, you know, if it goes up 120 bucks, great. But if that's, you know, a small percentage of what you have in it, it's not worth it. Right. And you know, folks, if you haven't listened to the uh, Think or Swim program yet, um, and you have an interest in options, listen to it. Because, and if you actually trade equities, um, you should listen to it anyway, because you'd be really surprised in the act, and the, how you can actually buy equities 
at a very inexpensive price compared to what an equity actually cost. With, with a spread that is like hard, not, yeah, it's very small. It is, it's well, a very well, small we, spread. We, we use, what you're talking about, Tom, is our stack replacement right. strategy that we talk about, where instead of buying the underlying, like something like Apple, you know, you can buy a 60, 70 delta option far out, like a long term, for about 10% of the price of buying Apple stock. So a smaller account can actually afford to trade these higher price names and a larger account can trade more. Yeah. So it benefits everybody. And you know what's amazing? It's amazing when you look at the timeline. I mean, I'm going back now. It's hard to believe that I'm going back so far. But believe it or not, folks, at the beginning of the option market, people thought that, well, the, the, they thought the spreads were way too big. People weren't in the option market. It was like, oh my God, why, why are you trading the Qs at 40 or $50 when you can trade them at 30 cents? But it took, it, took a, it took a while for everyone to really catch on to it. But now the pendulum has changed, I mean, really maybe five, five or six years ago, right? That there's so many people and, that really and, understand Well, even it. more than that now. Yeah, it, right. Because, I mean, the odds used to be, you know, the odds used to be that you were like, the odds were, you know, we let the customer choose and we made markets nice and wide where we can control the risk. Yeah. Well, now because of competition, markets tight, you get to choose what strategy you want to do and you do it for virtually no slippage. It's amazing. Getting in and out because these markets are so quick. No doubt. But really, it's almost at the advantage of flipped over to the South Korea. It has. As long as you're doing it the right way. No doubt. 12 o'clock right here at TFNN. Yeah, Have a great one, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Can't wait, guys. Take care. new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We got the uh, Dow right now up 187, Nasdaq's up 64, S&Ps are up uh, 26. Let's go over and we take a look at uh, Europe for a second and see, uh, because what is intriguing out here is, you know, Europe has caught a bid, a lot of buying. Uh, you get the FTSE up 2.2%, the CAC in Paris is up 2.4, the DAX is up 2.1, uh, and right now our dollar is up 1%, the S&P is up 9 tenths, and the Nasdaq is up one and four tenths and i always like to look at that because it seems like you know like a day like today we're up a lot that seems like we're up a lot but guess what we can be up a lot more sure. when when the european markets are up that big so the leader out here again now this is a, this is a dead cat but bottom line the leader is boeing that's up three dollars and nine cents dupont is up a one a dollar 46 disney is up 228 uh there's two stocks that are negative inside the dow mcdonald's is down a dollar and Pfizer is down seven cents. Uh, inside the NDX 100, look at that. Out of 100 stocks, there's only three that are in the negative. That's pretty amazing. So Priceline is the leader. That's up $130 or 11.5%. INCY is up 530, 521. What is this one? Oh, Norwegian Cruise Line is up 220. Expedia is up $5.55. Uh, Siren Corporation is down four dollars and 83 cents gilead is off 60 cent, six cents and regeneron's down 63 so that's pretty impressive that out of 100 stocks only three of them are down yeah that that uh that's saying hey we can get you can get a lot you can get a lot yeah. more juice going and really only one of them is down more than like 0.8 percent yeah exactly yeah. exactly so if we go over and take a look at the s p's folks you got the you know what's so weird think about it like when you're down at lows you just and we, we, we pound on that low so many times, meaning the low, whether you take the August 24th low, which we're going after on January 20th, and then each and every time we were going up, it just kept selling off intraday. And then all of a sudden, within three days, you're at 181 to 192. Yeah, you know. well, it's a fast market. Fast market. And you know, once you're into, see, we're into it now. So we're into the low, of the high right now, of the last swing high, folks. So your probability goes higher that you're going to go right after that 194.58, and it's only Wednesday in the week. So that's going to that's going to give it a good shot that you can actually take that over. See, get over the high because it's it's volume wise, it's going to be pretty easy. So this is this a weekly chart we're looking at? That's a daily. Okay. So I'm saying at the end of the week, we get two more days after sure. today to get sure. over that. Let's go to Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Tommy. How you doing, man? Pretty good. You? Good. Hey, so what's the? I know that you guys got hammered for. Like, it was only like a day or two that that cold weather came in, right? But to get a little bit better. Oh, this weekend was unbelievably cold. <laughs> I know, man. That was like, un yeah. yeah, unusually cold for for New England. Oh, yeah. That's... It was horrible. But spring has sprung. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't care to see that weather anymore. <laughs> no, I don't blame you, man. Pretty amazing. No, a lot of pipes frozen in Boston. I'll yeah. tell you that. You know, Caitlin, I, I, Tommy's sister, my daughter, her, her froze. But what happened, thank God, is she understood how to unfreeze them. That just yep. happened? It yep. just happened. Yeah, it happened. And what ha it, what it, it happened last year, and I guess what happens is that when they freeze, if you try to put them on afterwards, that's bad because this this pressure and will push the ice through it versus you warm the warm the house up you warm it up and let them melt first and then do it and she's fine and she changed the pipes so she had expansion pipes yeah. this year yes yeah. oh yeah she was going through a trip problems last year yeah <laughs> yeah so what are we going to look at well i'm in the labu your, your, fa your favorite stock <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> it is. It is. So let's take a look at it. This is the uh, LABU. This is the Direction uh, S&P three times bull. Uh, the low of this uh, is 475 uh, for the year. The high is 59.82. And anything that you'd like to understand about the Direction shares, folks, and the leverage products, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into 
ETFs, and you're going to see there's a white paper, and it explains how they compound on the way up, they get defensive on the way down, they're daily investment products. Uh, and Tom does trade these quite a bit. And I like this trade. So hey, let me just go, I'm going to go over to the IBB just for a second and just look inside this. So the IBB, you know, this had taken a beating, goes from 343 down to 240. And, you know, the IBB, let's see. Now, this is pretty cool since we're into 259. So the IBB can go to 276. And where I'm going with that, it, what's, what's nice about when something gets hammered like this, too, is that it's not that it has to continue higher, but even on a dead cat bounce, you can get quite a bit of leverage off something like this. So if we pull this back, so we're at 704. You're up 69 cents. You know, game here is like 7, at 731, you want to see how it gets into that bar from the 20th. But it looks like, it, you know, that correlation between the IBB and the LABU would be saying that, hey, once you're at the 731, you know, you could get something going here. But it's a dead cat bounce, just so you, you know. Cause yeah, yeah I, I agree. And I, I thought the IBB could probably jump up to maybe 272 level, but... Um yeah, okay, no, it, it, I believe that's the that's the number. That's the other side of that, right? Yeah, it's 276, the other side of that downdraft there. Because what's cool is... at the January 28th bar, to give them the exact... Right? Yes, January 28th. That's the bar I'm looking at. Okay. Because that's two... See, you're, you're at 265. That bar, 276 is the top of that bar, and 259 is the bottom. So it's into it pretty good right now. So I think it gets some action. And what I would do... You know, what you have here is this, is that uh, you got three days of a rally, we get option expiration, you got Europe already up, uh, what, two and a half, two, 2.2% 2 basically across the board. Um, you know, you, this is a... This it, is, it couldn't be time to take the bread and go, you know? Uh, what did he say? To take the bread and go, maybe? Not yet, no. Well, not, well, not, well. not today, no. I, I Play this out at least for the rest of the day. You can get, okay. I think, you know, see, right now, we're at 1.1. There's no reason we can't be up another percent. You know, the NASDAQ is up 1.6, so maybe that can do, go up 2.3, uh, 2.2. .2. You know, the oil numbers are coming out in a few minutes. That'll, uh, let's see, they're coming out in four minutes. So what that will do, you know, if those numbers are, are decent, that'll put some more juice underneath those oil stocks, which would put juice under the whole market. It's, it's like one of these deals that the S&P will drag the NASDAQ up, the NASDAQ's dragging the S&P up. Hey, if you get a chance, uh, can you just check out the UWTI for me, too? Um, it's, it's, I don't need to hear it yet, but uh, if you get a chance, you know. Is it you? Yeah. You? West Texas immediate UWTI oh sorry UWTI okay so this is the velocity shares three times long uh, ETN oh this is a good time crude to, oil crude oil yeah so this is this is a nice time to do it so it's been down sitting on the lows there so they're saying in the den maybe that, that report might is that what they're saying tomorrow oh. with the holiday week Monday was off so oil gets delayed by a day Oh, that'd be a bummer. Okay. I think that report's out tomorrow, hey, Tom, stay, because Monday's holiday. Stay right there, Tom. We'll come right back, all right? Okay. Dow right now is up 187. Nasdaq's up 70. S&P's up 26. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member, FDIC, and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's take a look at this. We have the uh, the Dow right now up at 204. We get the Nasdaq up 75. S and P's are up 28. And what I don't know, we're, tr we're trying to find out right now. What what may happen, right, is that the report may be out tomorrow because of the holiday. We'll find out. I don't see anything coming across the screen. Yeah, no, I think that's how it works. I mean, President's Day. Right. We're pulling up the chart of oil. It doesn't look like there's action right now, but, and nothing's coming across Bloomberg. Yeah, so oil right now is trading at 32.12. What you do have, which is pretty cool, is that we we hit that 33 area yesterday with volume. So um, bottom line is that I expect that that's going to get retested out there. You still there, Tom, right? I am, Tom, yes. Yeah, so that, 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 the, the one you wanted to look at, uh, UWTI, you know, I, I like that trade. Um, yeah, I've been playing it a little bit, you know, here and there, but uh, it gets down into that dollar 30 range or, or so. I'm all over it, but we'll see. Well, it, it when it just did the last 10 minute bar, it just took out a small swing point. It has the volume. We just did uh, 10 million shares. And you know, it took out the highs from yesterday. Well, I had 11.4. You're at 158. You know, this could be a this could be a small ABC up, man. Well, actually, it's a large ABC up. The, the eight point on this is 117. I'm taking the eight point from the low of uh, February 11th. That'd be 118. The B point is 155. So you got, uh, what, that's uh, 30, 18, 28, 30, 48. 40 cents, 40, 37 cents. Yeah. And that would get you uh, like 170, 172, which isn't bad for, you know, a dollar 58 stock. Yeah. yeah. That's small money, yep. Exactly. Cooking, brother. All right, gentlemen. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Um. If we go over to that bond market, it, what's going to get intriguing here is 
So if I take a look at the 10 year notes, you know, you're still actually coming down on late volume. In intraday, so the 10 year note right now is down 19 ticks. And intraday, you know, you had some juice here. You can see uh, the first leg down was pretty good. Now, this is a small ABC down that 130.02 would be the price target. A to B equals C to D. And where is that ABCD? The, I, I took the A point, and I was conservative with this. I took the A point. Okay. Um, when I say I was conservative, what I did is I took the, it's not where I took the beginning yeah, of the yeah, A. I just couldn't see whether right. we're talking here, here, there. Yeah. yeah. So I took it off 131.28, which okay. was on the, the 12th. Okay. And then I didn't go to the very low here because I took it coming off the low that was established on the 15th versus the low on the 16th. Okay. Um, and when you do that, it just means that you're, you're going to have a higher price projection if you're going down, but it's more conservative. Because um, I, I, it's a 130.02 uh, is the number. Now, that being said, what we haven't got in this market is, so intraday we had some volume there, but if this is all it's going to pull back, then <laughs> what's going to be crazy is that, you know, the, I think the 10-year can pull back to 129.08, but because we have volume at this high up here again, it's like when the market decides to tank again, that bond can go all the way back up there again, which is just a mind blower. Because that will absolutely blow minds, folks. You know, because we were at 1.6 on the 10 year. But you can see that volume stick out like a sore thumb up there. Yeah. And what happens is that these shooting stars, folks, love to get tested. And it's like, oh my God. It just, it's, it's hard to comprehend fundamentally that it wants to go back up there. But, you know, <laughs> okay. It does. It's, you know, it's like, okay, free money. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we take a look at the 30-year, uh, 30-year 30 30 out here. So 30-year right now is down, doing 150,000 contracts. And you're coming into, yeah, you come into 363. So this is a pullback uh, with light volume. That's the way this is uh, set up right now. The banks, let's go to the banking structure. You know, what you had out here um, is Neil Kadet, uh I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, he's, the, he's a new Fed governor uh, of Minneapolis Fed. And he was Paulson's right-hand man at the Treasury when the whole depression took place. And he's calling for a breakup of the banks, of the large banks. Um, Kashkarian. Thanks, Mike. Awesome, man. Kashkarian. Yeah. Is there an end there? Kash Kashkari. Kashkari. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, he's calling for breakup of the large banks. This is going to be, uh, that's, that's, the Minneapolis Fed is not powerful, but this guy has a lot of respect. Sure. So he's a young guy, has been in some heavy positions. So it's going to be yep. really, it's going to be wild watching that whole thing shake out. I, They'll have their hands full, you know. When you say that, when you, they'll, who's they in that sentence of... Regulators. Okay. Uh, sure. Politicians have it trying to break up the banks. Oh, yeah. You know, sure. I mean, if they didn't get broken up in 2008, yeah. I can't picture them ever getting broken up. I mean, yeah. you know, it's like... Of course. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Some of the... Uh, well, here, actually, let's go... I want to see where price I made all this money. PCLN. So I'm trying to figure out whether well, Priceline owns Tiger loaded up. Oh, I know what we can do. Last quarter. Okay. You know it's so cool? All the 13F filings are out, too. Yeah. Priceline, the largest U.S. online travel agent, jumped as much as 16% in early trading after reporting fourth quarter earnings that beat estimates. Earnings including some item but $12.63 a share. Sales were $2 billion compared to an estimated $1.96 billion. I'm trying to think. Travel bookings grew 10 percent to, to 55 billion. 55 billion. That's amazing. Um, were it not for currency-related losses, bookings would have grown 25 percent. Priceline, which makes less than a quarter of its annual sales in the U.S., is more susceptible, susceptible to currency fluctuations than rival Expedia, which does most of its business in the U.S. dollar. The U.S. In the U.S., yeah. Wow, that's pretty amazing, man. That is big, big dollars. Did you ever use, have you ever used Priceline? I think once or twice um, I have, but not recently. Yeah, and it, it's it's and that's what happens is we fly jet 
Blue a lot. I'm right. not sure that airline is listed on those. And, okay. And we fly Southwest, which is not on those as well. JetBlue, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Southwest is definitely not. Really? Okay. Um, so in our little hub, <clears throat> I think we're less right. likely than, to do it. Yeah, because if you're flying like United, USA, or Delta, yeah. American, I think that's when those you know, those sites do the best job of showing you them all at once right. and giving you the cheapest. But we fly a bunch of different airlines from that, so it's interesting. I know. Yeah. I, there's no there's no doubt. Yeah. And I guess the the hotels were always staying at the same hotels, right? Yeah, and yeah. hotels I had, I haven't used it for. But that, right. that one I do always just kind of scan the internet and, and find the cheapest price when I'm buying a hotel. And rental cars, actually. I think on Priceline, you can name your own price. And rental cars, that's actually a great deal that I've used four or five years ago. Yeah. To get a cheap rental now car. Now we get Uber. Yeah, right, for sure. <laughs> you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 199. Nasdaq's up 74. SP's up 27. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 198. NASDAQ is up 70. SPs are up 27. And uh, if you happen to be in the gold market, folks, this is a big number. And what this is, is that um, John Paulson, uh, has been for a long period of time the largest owner um, of the GLD. Let's say GLD. One second. And this is always sad when this happens, too, man. It's vicious. So when you look at it right now, on the, the 13F filings came out yesterday, 
And at one point, Paulson, well, before the filing came out, Paulson owned 5.7 million shares of the GLD. Uh, are you sure about, are you sure it's not these two added? That's his current position. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so he... He owned more than 9 million. He owned more than 9 million. At, at one point, he, he had already reduced his position by 50% about three years ago. Um, now, he reduced it, again, quite a bit. And when that happens, the, the, the cool thing here is that that's how bottoms are made, unfortunately. The bad thing, of course, is that when you look at whether it's October, November, December, that's what this is stating. That's when he sold it. Um, he sold quite a bit of shares. Now, the amazing thing, I was talking about this last night on the air, on the afternoon show, what is really unusual, this is the first time I've seen Fidelity is a big mover inside the gold equities. Okay. When I first started the gold report, the only institution that owned the gold stock was Fidelity. They, they owned 10% of Gold Corp. Okay. But Fidelity, in that same period, bought 2.3%. That's a brand new position. 2.3 million, uh, 2 .3 shares. million shares, yeah. which is pretty amazing. Yeah, which um, is actually just exactly 1%. I know, isn't, yeah. that, isn't that wild? Yeah. Exactly 1%. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's, that's, a, that's a good indication. Sure. What, what yeah. is really incredible, I'm trying to figure out, I, when, you, when you do pull up Fidelity, you'll see this. They put it in quite a few accounts. They put it in Fidelity Canada, and they, and they put it in, oh, there it is. Look at that. They, so when you're looking at these filing hooks, what happens is that they'll break them down for you, and they put... The management bought it. It went in Fidelity Canada and Fidelity Conservative. That's what it looks like. Conservative Income Fund. That's interesting, isn't it? So I think you should, we'll have to break down those numbers because as you do that tree, I'm not sure that that's what that's what exactly saying. If you go back to the previous screen, you can see some of the share allotments that look like they're next to those lines, and, and I'm not sure that that's... So it would be... That's what it looks like, right? Is oh well, Canada. Oh, I see. It's only 178 what, yeah, shares. Okay, so those. so look at this. Oh, I see. So Fidelity Management, 2.3 million. Look into with these, sure. Fidelity Canada, 27,600, and they put 178 shares into. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, that's just probably that could be one money manager in in some Fidelity office. Yeah, who, who, who you know, knows? For one client. Who knows that's, exactly? Yeah. But uh, bottom line is that that that's a that's a good indication. Um, yeah, they just initiated that. Position, that for sure. it, it, it's a new position, right? And uh, you know what you what you want to do. Whatever equities you own, if you're in that, you know, you can basically take a look at that and see if you had any funds come into that. Because what happens, folks, funds are the ones that move stocks. That's just how it goes. For sure. You know, huge, yeah. right. right? Huge amounts of money. And they don't get in once. It's not like when I buy something, you know, not only I buy it, maybe buy it over two or three weeks or something. Or, you know, if, you, if you're really into it, you could buy some now in two or three months. If it's hanging at the same price, maybe buy it. But funds... Yeah. Take long periods of time to get in and to get out. You know, so different ball game. Yes. Uh, if we go over to Wrangell, you know what? What did happen when I was going through this last night? Now this is intriguing. Um, Renaissance Technologies. Now Renaissance Technologies is one of the most successful hedge funds on a long period of time. On any period of time, actually, um, they start buying. A, you know, and they're not long-term holders, but. They have got into this market, into this gold market. I was pulling up a bunch of them, and they they they, they were owning quite a bit. Well, when I say quite a bit, two or three percent of a lot of gold companies. So if we pull up Rangel Research, Research, I mean Rangel uh, Resources, resources uh, Fidelity still a buyer, and they they bought another 167,000 shares. They own 2.5 percent of it right now. Uh, sellers, BlackRock was a seller. Wells Fargo. If we go into Gold Corp, let's take a look at Gold Corp. Page. Whoops, wrong one. Now remember too, folks, okay, this is information is 45 days old. Yeah. That's how it gets filed. Yeah. Um, look at Fidelity. Fidelity, 
4.3 million. They own 1.4 percent of it right now, which makes sense because Fidelity, folks, what happens? It's not like one person is buying it. They have so many funds; they're so huge right. that you know they, their allocation comes down like that. For so, sure. the good news is you have buyers. You know, yeah. because right. no, what, sure. when they sell, oh, it's wicked. When yeah. I when I see when I'm doing the gold report and I see that they're selling something, it's oh, like, yeah. oh no, man! It's all supply and demand, I, right? It, and that's it, demand and that's right. supply. Yeah. And and they when they sell. You know, it takes them months, but guess what? You know, that, that's going to be huge pressure on the yeah, stock. Right, because they, I mean, you're talking about millions of shares. So if they're selling millions of shares, who's going to be the one buying it? Exactly. If they're going to be buying it, just you're going to have to maybe lower your prices if you want to sell all those millions of shares. Right. That's the same deal when you're buying it. If you want to buy millions and millions of shares, somebody has to sell it to you. It's, the market it's, might just rise up as you need to buy it then. It's, yeah. the, 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 it's, it's amazing, man. Yeah. I mean, it really is. And what happens there, particularly you have... Three of the largest funds in the whole United States are in Boston. You have State Street, you have Mass Financial, that's where Timmy used to work, okay, okay? and Fidelity. Sure. And they are huge movers. Yeah. And the thing that's wild is that even when I was growing up there, I never realized State Street was so big. But what happens at State Street, State Street is the back office for so many other funds across the country. Okay. So it gets labeled under State Street, but in fact, that is, let's say you and I are doing a, a business here, right? And we want to use State Street as our clearing deal. Well, that's how that gets done. Isn't okay. that wild? Sure. Yeah. You know, but what happens, of course, is that, you know, when you see that come across, it's like, wow, man. So let's go back over to that oil market. Now, the oil numbers didn't come out, uh, but it's like everyone must have been waiting for them. <laughs> and it got a little pop, you know. Uh, and if we took a look at the USO, these are all small ABC structures on the way up. Uh, it, you know, we just went through the UWTI kind of this. The USO is a one-to-one, -one, same 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 type of correlation. Took out the swing point from yesterday. You, it, we're trading 867, and that price target on that small ABC up is 902. And where I'm taking that from is the low that was established out here on the 11th. You know, so. It's a nice little situation. Yeah. Um, and if you go to, and this is where, folks, if you if you wrap your head around this a little, what we had out here yesterday is this. The oil market, you know, went higher, but didn't hold price. We went to 33.78. Nice volume, 481,000 contracts. But what I've found is that when you get up there and don't hold price, it goes up and at least test it, you know? So right now we're at uh, 32.76, and uh, we'll see where that uh, baby wants to go. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 217. Nasdaq's up 74. S&P's up 29. We'll be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016, and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We get the Dow up 219, Nasdaq's up 77, S&P's are up 30. And, of course, uh, you stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next, growling and prowling with you. Then we go to uh, TD Ameritrade headquarters in Chicago for swim lessons. Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White, I'll be back this afternoon. And our man, Mr. Andy Heck, he's going to be doing a great workshop, folks, uh, February 25th. He sure is. So that's a week from tomorrow, <clears throat> Thursday night, for subscribers to his Technomental Commodity Report. It's a weekly report. comes out every Thursday morning. Um, and, man, I, I edited and go through it. I think it's like 15 pages in terms of, but, you know, commodities. Sweet. He's breaking down every single commodity, giving you a bullish, bearish take, let alone with trades. Um, most of the time working in ETFs, so you don't need a futures account to right. trade it. Um, and he's going to be going over the year-ahead in agricultural commodities. And he's going to be talking about in there, and it's, a, you know, ETFs, equities. Um, not just the futures, where he's looking at agricultural equities, the no, ETFs. You know? And you know what's so cool, folks? Okay, you know, I was talking to Andy about this, you know, and you'll see it right in front of the page. Each year is a new adventure, agricultural commodities in 2016. Because what is really crazy, I mean, it's, it's weather. It's, you know, it, it's, there's it, a lot that drives it, right? There and is. I, you know, I reference his natural gas because I, I read the letter every time, okay. and, you know, just the info that he has in there on the fundamental, <clears throat> excuse right. me, fundamental side of supplies, you know, the, right. the, the stockpiles and How so much forth. Is yeah, and when you're talking about commodities, you know, it's not exactly like an equity market. An equity market, you got to understand the fundamentals and the balance sheet if you want the full fundamental take on things. Right. On the commodity side, you need to know that same element, and that element is the stockpiles, what's coming online, who's right. about to produce it, you know, and the expected demand. Right, that's coming down the line, and he does a great job at that for sure. That's so, pretty wild, right? Yeah, think it's about cool it. stuff. It is. It really is. It's and you really see it when, when you know, and you can trade technically only. You definitely can. Yeah. I like trading technically with the fundamentals, knowing them at I the agree. same time. You know? I agree. I agree. Um, I think that is the ultimate. I've always told people, you know, like if you work for a company and you know a company sure. and you know the technicals, that's that's it that's good. Sure. I mean, yeah, that's because you know, then you get the macro deal. You know, I like having all the information before I make decisions, right? You know, I yeah. do. It's just oh, you know listen, that's what you know, I, and so well, that's the. Edge. Right. Need, exactly. Whatever that edge is, that's the bottom line. Because and even if you're, you know, let's say there's a technical setup to the to for the bullish position, natural gas. Well, right. it'd be great to know that no matter how much of a bullish bounce you get, you know, Andy Hack's talking about the 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 supply side of that is that no way are you going to get a rocket ship because no matter how much demand we have, there's going to be more natural gas than we ever need for the next couple of years at least. That, so keep that in mind, you know, and that's a great deal huge. to know. Right? And you know. I believe it was Mark Douglas that told the story. Um, that, you know, beautiful technical setup. He's showing this guy at the, and this is uh, supposedly a true story. Sure. Showing at the CBOE. This is a great setup and all that. And the guy said, well, like that setup, right? They turned to the guy next to him, sell 200 contracts of that. Bang, and yeah. slammed it down. Sure. Right. Right? <laughs> it's yeah. like, okay. Yeah. You know, and guess what? Setups can change. Yes. You know, um, what can't change. Is that if there's demand and there's less supply, yeah. you know, and no matter what, yeah, you know, it's the same thing we just talked about the funds getting into stocks, right? Well, that's a huge demand, it is. right? You know, it I is. mean, or it's a huge supply, right? right? So in the same way, it's you know, you can forecast the types of demand you're going to need for natural gas, let alone, I mean, the weather matters, but not to the extent of you know dramatically shifting what they expect, and there's just so much natural gas out there that no matter 
who uses it. So you say, okay, so how's the price going to really shoot up? If we have more than we ever need right now. Right. So keep and in mind. there's more that can come online. Right. 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 So, folks, you come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you can test drive Andy's Technomental Commodity Report one month, absolutely free. That gets you a great newsletter. Going to get you into the event next Thursday night, yep. 6 30 to 7 30. And if you can't make it live, always remember that we have great technology. It goes on your page for a full month. You can listen yep. to it as many times as you want. And we know people love to sign up, you know, getting geared up for the workshop, whether it's the day of, the night of, you know, that's right. their last chance. But really, today's a perfect day. Tomorrow is a perfect day. He has his weekly report tomorrow morning. You can sign up today, get the archives, read tomorrow's report. For free. If you're in there right. for the whole month, for sure. Stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Dow's up 217, Nasdaq's up 81, SP's up 31. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.